Hello. Happy Monday. Um, as I have expressed in videos prior, I'm not the biggest fan of doing dishes or cleaning in general. Um, weirdly enough, I do, it's like a dualistic mindset because I do enjoy the like physical act of cleaning. The only thing that keeps me from enjoying it other than like the, my, I have like intrusive thoughts about how I'm doing things imperfectly constantly, which may or may not be OCD, but my younger siblings both have very severe OCD, so I'm trying to pretend I don't have it for right now. Anyway, <coughs> the main reason I don't like doing dishes is because of my eczema, and I'm going to have to move so that y'all can see. Hi! Um, I get eczema all over my fingers, and I'm hearing stuff outside. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but my fingers be bleeding, and I have gloves, but um, I also need emotional support for dishes, so I choose you. We're gonna have a good time. I'm gonna pause this for now. I also have some uh, mint green tea, I think. Some kind of green tea that I made for emotional support, so. Sippy sippy, as Graveyard Girl would say. Y'all remember her? I've shown you guys this mug before, but it's cute. Alright, our dish tools are as follows. Scrub Daddy in green. Scour Daddy also in green because green is growth. And this bamboo dish brush that I probably won't use unless I have like a really grimy thing. Because it is irritating to use. Um, I need to get a more flexible dish brush but I try not to buy plastic shit. And you know what I mean. Y'all know how it goes. She wants to dance like oh my Thurman and I can't get you out of my head. Do you guys still listen to Fall Out Boy? Oh man, maybe I didn't need this. Okay, so in the last short where I um, was cleaning slash doing dishes or bitching about what I had to, whatever. <coughs> I... Um, got one cake. I, any, <sighs> I'm not editing any of this, so you're sorry. Um, but I hashtagged it body doubling. And that's because it, whether or not you're familiar with the concept of body, body doubling, it's something that a lot of neurodivergent people, um, do or have done as like a comfort behavior. So basically I've talked to my siblings about this because most of my siblings are on the spectrum. Um, only, I have one brother who's formally diagnosed. Aside from him, we all fucking have it, but, <laughs> um, most of us, most of my mom's five kids, so, okay, I'm one of five siblings. Actually, I have four siblings, so I'm one of five kids total, but I'm the second oldest um, and the brother, I have one older brother, I have one younger brother, and then I have two younger siblings who are both non-binary. Um, why do y'all need all these details? You know what? I just gotta do dishes, and I gotta figure out why my music stopped playing. That's why I started fucking talking so much. Dishes are messy, and I hate putting the clean ones away once they're clean. Like, I really don't mind... If I'm in a flow state, just washing fucking dishes forever, I guess. But, man, once it gets time to rinse them and put them away, fuck that shit. Am I right? Okay, hold on. Wow. BRB. One thing I forgot to do that's kind of important is uh, to scrub out your sink that you're going to be putting the clean dishes in before you put clean dishes in there because if you don't scrub it then clean dishes become dirty dishes after you just wash them. And this is why I wonder 
because maybe I also have OCD because like on one hand that is absolute common fucking sense on the other hand on a some on some days that might spiral me into a panic attack if I wash like three dishes and then put them in a dirty sink and then you know okay We're listening to Fall Out Boy if you haven't noticed, if you couldn't tell, if you give a shit, you know? Oh, there's a whole lap. Okay. Love off so I can take tag off. Comparing your past to my future. But also. Da -da -da -da. Listen, Big Hero 6, one of the best fucking movies, I think, to come out. One of the best family-friendly movies, I'll say, to come out in, like, the past 20 years, in my opinion. That shit was good. Another good family-friendly movie, uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I have yet to see... God, this is difficult. I haven't seen um, Across the Spider-Verse yet, but one of my best buddies was telling me about it yesterday or I think it might have been the day before Friday Saturday one of those days you know weekend time he was just telling me how good it was and how I need to see it and I agree with him wholeheartedly by the way this is what my little sink scrubby sits in he's a hedgehog my grandma gave him to me he's great <laughs> Can y'all see me? You know? A true bop is I Don't Care by Fall Out Boy. I never hear that one played like in bars or anywhere. But it's one of their best fucking songs, in my opinion. Say my name and is in the same breath. I dare you to say they taste the same. Off in the summer and let timber glow in flames. Brace myself and let go. Start it over again in Mexico. These friends. They don't love you, they just love the hotel suites. Now I don't care what you think as long... I got a snot nose, I got some singing. <coughs> I have either an allergic reaction to the smoke from the wildfires in Canada, or I might have a sinus infection. Whenever I get health insurance again, maybe I'll find out if I still have it. You know? I'll take a chance, let your body get a tolerance. Like another cigarette, I'm drunk, I'm played out. Do you? I'm the oracle in my chest. Let the guitar scream like a fascist. Sweat it out, shut your mouth, for you love. And the alley, it ain't that cheap now, I.
hands on the burning hot water. But like, unless you're into that, I guess. I don't know, man. My mom, I swear, she can dip her hands in boiling fucking water and no, no damage. Then again, that bitch burns herself. She ain't a bitch. She's my mom. I love her. But she burns herself on like a daily, no, not a daily basis. Every time she cooks, she burns herself. Airtime, damn near, without fail. So anyway, I just cleaned the sink with Castile soap, and now it smells like oranges. And I'm going to rinse it out with very, very hot water, bitch. And then I'm going to dry it. In case you were wondering, even though it's going to get wet again, that's just how dishes work. You got to get used to shit sucking. That's a song I just wrote. It's called Shit Sucks, But It's Okay. Hope you liked it. Hope you haven't heard my alarm going off for the past. I don't know how many minutes I just noticed it's going off. But, you know, we'll get to her eventually after I'm done with this. Here goes the soap. I think that's good enough. We're going to put that there. We're going to go snooze my alarm. Another good housework thing that we're getting done today because we're being productive uh, is I have to go switch my laundry, so I would bring you guys with me, but I don't want to bring my laptop into the basement because if I drop it, it's going to be filthy and broken, so peace out. I'll be right back. I have to clean my microwave today, too, which is also in the kitchen. Obviously, I don't keep my... Anyway, um, so... Before I do that, I'm going to take a break. Oh, yay, cat puke on the floor. I love coming into the living room to this. After I clean that up, I'm going to put away some clean laundry, and y'all can watch me do that, because what the fuck else are you going to do? Read? Watch Futurama, maybe? That would be a valid alternative, but whatever dude all right we got dishes to finish but we also have laundry to fold so we're gonna take a break from the dishes to fold the laundry because um it's less torturous it feels like to me at least so hope you guys have been doing well i'm probably going to um, I think in the vlog soon after this, this will be my first Monday vlog of a Monday vlog series called Monday Vlogs Every Monday with Cassie. <coughs> yeah, you know, that'll be so fun. We're going to fold laundry together. We're going to talk about things. Um, we're going to sniffle. And should we roll our towel or fold it? Because, like, I've been kind of into rolling lately. Don't know if you guys have to, but I think I'm going to cut this at 13 minutes because once my man gets home from work, I am embarrassed to talk to myself so freely. And that's not because he judges me. But it's because I judge myself. And I project a lot onto, like, his size and his facial expressions. And more often than not, I'm just, like, trying to start something. I don't know, man. I'm steady trying to start something. I've still maybe got borderline personality disorder. But who the fuck knows, honestly? I have one therapist tell me that. And that bitch knew me for, like, I only could afford to go see her for, like, I don't know, six months, something like that. Um, in case you were wondering. So yeah, maybe I'll come back to that at some point, because I made a couple videos about, like, a day in the life with BPD, a week in the life with BPD, whatever the fuck, whatever BPD means, you know? Um, it's, it's like a hot topic. Uh, my boyfriend follows this page that makes memes about, like, mentally unstable girlfriend fet- I- it, He showed me a meme that said, um, 
basically the gist of it was the girlfriend telling her boyfriend, like, oh, just so you're aware, I have anxiety. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we'll work around that. This is not all that was in the meme. This is why I can't communicate anymore. But <clears throat> hiding underneath the girl's anxiety in the meme was full-fledged borderline personality disorder, also known as emotional intensity disorder caused by some emotional damage, you know? And it is. Uh, but we're almost at 16 minutes now, so okay, bye. Love you.